70 to go, coming to 9 to go. We are chess games behind Dylan, too. Not over. In the postseason, they step up. They find a way to make stuff happen. I don't, you know, I've gotten to the point next year, I'm not, I don't care how they run the regular season. I don't care. The only thing that matters, they find a way to do it when it counts. See the one of Chastain on the outside of Dylan? Well, think about this. What was it, the first dozen races of the season? Ford went nowhere. And now, as we run with seven to go, seven and a half to go, two of the top four of the championship four will be Ford, the Blue Oval Boys, racing for a title in Phoenix. William Byron has them stacking up behind him, bottom left box. And the sixth of Keselowski, now he's in the battle. That 24 Liberty University Chevy has to be as wide as this racetrack if he wants to go to Phoenix. Oh, comes Larson, he comes the one on the outside of the 24. Chastain and Dylan Keselowski, they're both lining up for a shot at William Byron. Up front, Ryan Blaney. You heard that frustration on the radio earlier in the race. He didn't like that call where it went green and then caution. He was frustrated, but he had the fresher tyres, and he has driven his way through the traffic, past the opponents, to be five laps from home, five laps from going to Phoenix, and a chance at defending his title. Going back to back, that hasn't happened all that often in the 75-year history of NASCAR. The disappointment of last week in Homestead could turn to the elation here in Martinsville. And what position is the difference between Byron and Bell? I'm still holding on. Three laps to go now for the discount tire forward of Ryan Blaney. Comfortable two and a half seconds in front. What's he got to do? What's the tire doing bro. all he can to oh. hold these two cars behind? Oh. Keselowski wants to get up there and make something happen. It's hard to keep him. He the back just the can't car. hate him. He did what, he's doing what he has to do. I just can't hate him. I'm sorry. I just can't. and shove going on there for that final get to this lap. final lap. Lap to go. there's half a mile to go for Ryan Blaney the reigning NASCAR Cup Series champion is going to have an opportunity to defend last week at these two corners three and four wow. he lost the lead and lost the chance Off the he lost sleep over it Ryan, Ryan he's Blaney not anything here in Martinsville he wins and wow. is going to Eliminates my favorite line. He did what he had to do. Oh wow, Bell's in the wall. Did he, did he just wall line it? What the? Did, did Bell just wall line it? Or was he out of the attack? situation 
Christopher Bell gets it. But this is lucky number 13, no victory number 13 in his cup career for Ryan number Blaney to give himself a chance to win back-to-back -back championships with a thoroughly determined wow. drive through the field, driven by today. the disappointment of last weekend. Spare a I mean, thought for William Byron if it does stay the way we think it is. Week, so. Who did everything he possibly I could. Yeah, I just can't, can't predict how these races are going to finish. Or, Every time I mean, just here, it's something different. Anyone who tried to jinx Jeff, him, I'm going to give well, you credit. You pointed out Blaney. Funny. We were so focused on the nine and the Fuck. five. But well, Blaney just... It just wasn't meant to be for Hendrick this back. year. And Steve, you mentioned it too. The question is... You know, they're looking at the finish of this. You know, the Ross Chastain move from years ago, they made that, you know, can't do that anymore to gain position. I don't think that what we saw Christopher Bell... Cares, they're inside the back. track. It's I mean, not like they... It's not like going out of bounds, so... Watch this right here, so... So, I don't know what's any different. Track. Right, so he overdrives the corner, for sure. On the outside of the tent, sideways, right, hits the wall. And then no sure enough, stays in the way. gas. Man, he just wall ride the shit out of that thing. No way. That's right. This is going to be the call that the officials are going to have to make. Either way, we know who won the race. That is passion that has been spilling over for a week, Marty. What he couldn't get done last week in Florida, he gets done here in Virginia. Ryan Blaney's going to Phoenix. Well, on to well, on to Phoenix now. I don't know what else to say. What happened after this evening's cup race is part of the reason why I'm starting to not take the sport seriously like several other people. And, yeah, th things like this, yeah, keep in mind, the only reason why we're in this position is because of the fucking playoffs. I've never been a fan of it since, like, like 2015, and, yeah, I, I want it out of the sport as much as the next person. The, the more, it, well, the longer it stays in NASCAR across the top three series, the worse it's going to get. And I'm making this video, well, for those who are wondering why I'm making this video is because, well, towards the end of the race, a handful of, well, several Chevrolet drivers were trying to help William Byron advance into the final four at the same time some of the Toyotas were doing the same thing for Christopher Bell and on the last lap Christopher Bell was left no option but to do a Ross Chastain hail melon type move on the outside wall which is obviously a big no-no according in NASCAR's eyes and as a result of his Bell's actions he gets penalized and eliminated from the from the final four, which puts Byron in. And at this rate, well, the NASCAR, well, social media is pretty much imploded at this point. I don't blame them for being pissed off, really. I mean, so, yeah. And also, to add to that, from what I saw, Joe Gibbs Racing and their team owner cannot appeal this penalty, unfortunately, much to their dismay. Honestly, say what you will about Joe Gibbs, but I per kind of feel bad for him. Uh, with, and with how things are going, I, I honestly want... Um, I honestly want Rick to show up next week to Phoenix and kick everyone's ass... And I hope this will, and you know what? I hope NASCAR loses this lawsuit. I hope Michael Jordan wins it. He's the GOAT. 
I wish he ran the sport. I'm just over-exaggerating. Anyways, yeah, keep in mind, just like Ross Chastain, the reason why Christopher Bell did what he did is because of, because of the playoff system. So, there's that. What else? Um, I mean, as far as Blaney is concerned, um, he did what he had to do to win this race. So, I just, I'm sorry, it's just impossible for me to hate Blaney. I just, I just can't. I just can't. I'm sorry. I think most, I think one of the reasons why I like the guy is because, well, he has a good personality off track and I really mean that so so there's that it's a shame that this controversy on NASCAR's officiating between Bell and Byron it, I can't believe it's had to overshadow what seemed like a pretty good race and it, it it sure was. It was a good race. Um, this was NASCAR was trying out the softer tire and all that, and it's it seemed to work. I guess. I mean, obviously Blaney won because he had newer tires. So, so there's so what more do you have to say? And to be fair, um, I wish I would just wish Chase Elliott would have done more to. I mean, obviously he knew that Blaine was faster. I just wish he put up a fight of of some kind, just just to make it more exciting, I guess. So Chase Chase could get in and have a shot next week, but just let him through. I mean, they're they're friends, so why? But keep him. You have to keep in mind the what they're going for here. So yeah, yeah. I re so there's that, and unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be for either Elliot Larson or um, Bell. And I f and same, you can say the same thing for Hamlin too. So <sighs> so far, Chevrolet is zero and three and winning a a title of some kind in this god awful format or in this next gen car so yeah i'm going to try my best not to make this video too long and what else oh yeah nascar yeah they really need to stop listening they need to start listening to the true sports fan, not those entertainment seeking fans and all that. And and if you guys are you guys are more than welcome to speak your mind in the comments. I I, I don't mind it. I just don't want people like like fighting over each other cuz it's just not it's just not the time for this. Things are just bad enough. I swear if, if I have Man, if only if I had a nickel for every time NASCAR shit the bed when it came to qualf when it came to officiating. They've done it way too they've done it several times this year that it's not even funny. It it's just pissing me off. Ranging from I don't know, from the Charlotte Roval controversy with Klagerman or or and other things and I mean, at least NASCAR did something good last week in suspending Connor Jones. But, but yeah, I feel like I've said my piece already. I know, like I said, I'm going to say this again. Yeah, I want this playoff system out of the sport. It, it does not deserve to be in the sport. The longer it stays, the worse it's going to get. And and do not even dare bring it into any other sports like F1 or IndyCar. I highly doubt they would do that. If I was the president of IndyCar and I 
and NASCAR offered the playoffs to th that sport, I'm not going to try. And besides, there's not even enough races on the schedule to have a playoff format anyway. So, yeah, I don't know what more y'all want. Might as well hold a protest in front of NASCAR headquarters in Charlotte or Florida or wherever the hell it is. Um, so, yeah, if, if NASCAR doesn't do something about it, then so be it. And for the Final Four, well, well, to be fair... I, my pick will be Reddick, and I still stand by that. And he, and like I said, he better show up to Phoenix, or else I'm gonna be pissed off about it. So, yeah, can't believe this. Can't believe this. This most crucial race had to end with a controversy like this. This is yeah, things like this is why a lot of. Sp NASCAR fans are leaving the sport because they're just sick and tired of this bullshit, you know? And as much as it hurts, uh, to be honest, could I personally, could I really blame them? Um, to be honest, not really. I don't blame them. And those people know who they are, by the way. I would hate to abandon NASCAR and watch something else, but... I, I guess I'm just too stubborn. <sighs> Anyways, that's pretty much my take on on this. I know some other people will explain it better. I, I'm not perfect and all that. I'm just, I'm just, I mean, to be fair, I don't make videos like this very often like I used to when I first started the channel. I might do it more if I, if this, if I feel like it too, so... There's that. Anyways, thanks. thank you guys for watching. With that, I will see y'all next time. Have a good one. Stay safe. Feel free to comment down below on what you think. And with that, have a good one. Stay safe, and I'll see y'all next week. All right, bye, everyone. Peace out.